David, I don't really know where to start. I can't imagine life without you. It would be less exciting, sweet, fun, challenging, adventurous, and probably less emotionally stable. Sarah, what can I say? I don't think that either of us would have thought that the big day would have been this way in a million years. But you know what? I don't know that I would have it any other way. You are my best friend and ground me in all the right ways. I have enjoyed our adventures together over the past nine years and could not be more excited to be officially your wife and continue our journey together for life. All that has ever mattered <laughs> is you being the one standing there with me, committing to a life together. There is no one else in the world that I would rather go through it with than you. You truly make my life complete in every way. I love you so much, Sarah. Love, David. <laughs> Look at you. I'm my time. Yeah. Oh. Look at you. Your hair and everything. It's different. Oh. Different than last week. Sarah and David are so very thankful and especially grateful to have all of you join them on their wedding day. David and Sarah, over the past nine years, your love has proven that love perseveres and endures being separated by hundreds of miles multiple times throughout your relationship. And now, as husband and wife, it will only grow deeper. David, please hold Sarah's hand and place the ring on her finger. Sarah, thank you for wearing this ring. Sarah, thank you for wearing this ring as a daily reminder of my love for you. David, thank you for wearing this ring as a daily reminder of my love for you. So now, by the power rapidly vested in me by the powers of the internet, I gleefully pronounce you husband and wife. You may seal this declaration with a kiss. Oh, take me back to the day The day that I gave my heart away Anxiously waiting in minutes fade Then you came walking my way Everything stopped and everything changed When you came walking my way oh. We knew that Sarah had wanted a dog her entire adult life So <clears throat> Sarah briefly got up from the table David leaned in and told Julie and I that he had picked out a dog for Sarah and plan to give it to her Christmas morning as a surprise. Oh. So, I began to think maybe David's gonna be okay. He might, he, might, he might work out. And Sarah was speechless Christmas morning. So, David, um, I think you're okay. That's when my song starts to play. I'm Ellen, and Sarah and I have been best friends since we were freshmen in high school. I often find myself wondering how I got so lucky to find a third sister in Sarah. <laughs> when your best friend says she likes a boy who goes to school eight hours away, you clearly ask no questions, don't tell your parents, and you hop in the car with her. <laughs> it was clear that Sarah and David had a spark. I've seen over the years all the little things you do to make Sarah happy and show her how much you love her. It's those little things and moments that I know will build a lifetime of happiness for you too. And at the end of the day, that's all you could ever want for your best friend is happiness. Was it after freshman year or after sophomore year? After sophomore year of college, so cue Sarah. Um, <laughs> she starts hanging around and uh, it, it was becoming pretty clear she wasn't really going anywhere. Um, Sarah, 
beautiful, smart, energetic, fills the room. Um, David, um, proud, honored to, uh, for you to call me a friend, to be your friend. Um, I'm even happier uh, that you guys met and that you're together here today. So uh, tip your hats, raise your glasses. Cheers to David and Sarah. Yeah.